What's up guys, Alec White here, and man, has it been a long time since I've been able to do one of these. It's it's good to be back in the rhythm, filming again. Got a lot to catch you guys up on. It's been a busy couple months for me, which is why I haven't been able to do this as, as regularly as I've wanted. Basketball season just got super hectic with men's and women's and what's going on with Sean Miller. I actually just got back from Arizona's Pro Day today. I was out at Arizona Stadium, Jed Fish was there, Got to talk to him about what spring practice is gonna look like, and we got to, to see what Arizona Wildcats could be moving on to the next level. Gary Brightwell was out there, Roy Lopez was out there, and Lorenzo Burns as well. So I was out there filming. Let's take a look at some of that footage, and let's roll the tape. So when you come up and you do that, you open the up, you don't have to Last week I was also at baseball. Wildcats got fans back in the stadium for the first time in 366 days. That was really cool to see. Fans coming back in slowly but surely. There was about 500 or so at the opening night. Just super great to see fans and hear those fans cheering again, whether it be for Wichita State, because there were a few Wichita State fans, which surprised me, but the majority were Wildcat fans, so that was cool to see. I was there recording some footage on the camera that I'm shooting with now. So let's let's take a look. Roll the clips of the baseball game. As I'm learning the, the ropes and the ins and outs of what it means to kind of do this sports cinematography and digital editing, I thought it'd be really cool to, to talk to somebody that's been in this profession, that's, that does this for a living. And I found somebody on Twitter, his name's Kevin Edwards. He's a Stanford student. He's about to graduate, so we're pretty similar in age, but he works for the NFL. He just got a new job working for them. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kevin because it was a really great interview. So let's get to it. And now we have a very special guest joining us today, Kevin Edwards from out in the Bay Area attending Stanford. And he's wearing a, a Miami Dolphins shirt. And I'm gonna let him explain why he's doing that because you've got some some big career news. I caught you at the right time. Uh, what's going on uh, with your career wise? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just 
accepted a position with the Dolphins as a videographer editor, which I'm very, very excited for. So um, I'm gonna be starting remotely for them here soon. And then I'll move down to Miami once I graduate school. And uh, yeah, very excited for it. That's awesome. You have some experience filming in Miami because I think last year you were at Super Bowl 54. And then just a couple weeks ago, you were in Tampa Bay uh, for Super Bowl 55. You were, uh, I think, you know, working with NF NFL on the side. So how, do, how did that opportunity come about and what was it like being there uh, for those last two Super Bowls? Yeah, it was it was it was very cool because they were very different in a lot of ways. Um, and it was cool to get to see those differences. Um, yeah, so I work as an LC, I worked, I guess, past tense now, which is weird as an LC, <laughs> uh, which is like a live content correspondent for the NFL, which involves me going to games and then filming for both the home and away teams, um, and sending them out content in real time for like their social pages and the NFL social pages and whatnot. Um, and was fortunate enough to be selected, uh, to do, they had you do like a Pro Bowl, Super Bowl, like two week kind of deal with them last year. And I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. And it was very, very cool. Um, this was like right before COVID really hit. So this is probably like the last normal event. A lot of people got experience, myself included. Um, and yeah, just being on the field of the Super Bowl was surreal in a lot of ways. Uh, it was, it's been at like the top of my dream bucket list like forever. So it was just very, very cool, very surreal. And this year was different, obviously with COVID. Uh, we were limited to, they're called the operational zone, but it's the first row of the stands. Um, and um, it was kind of nice because last year I was running back and forth from the media room, so I didn't get to really watch the game like at all. Um, and this year, because I was stationary and I just had my laptop literally right by me, I could actually like watch and sort of enjoy the game while I was working, which was pretty cool. So kind of a, a mobile setup. You're just you're just right there. You've got your yeah. own office inside the the stadium. That's that's pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah, it was very cool. So um, each of them were very different, but it was like they each had their own things to offer. It was very very cool. Um, something I'll definitely never forget i know arizona fans and me uh myself as well we love uh rob gronkowski yeah. and it was i'm sure it was cool for you to wa to be there for that super bowl to see him turn back the clock uh to what he was in maybe a couple seasons ago where he scores those two touchdowns just where were you on the field and in, in the stands for for his touchdown catches uh, against the chiefs yeah, um, it was very, this was, so I actually got to work the NFC Championship game. So I can't say it was my first time filming Brady and Gronk, but it basically, I mean, it basically was, it was my second time, I see, but they were like right back to back. So it was very cool, obviously, to get a film like two legends of the game like that. Um, not even arguably, probably just definitively the greatest of all time at their respective positions. Um, I lucked out. So there were four LCCs there and we were each at respective corners of the end zone. Um, and both the Gronk and AB touchdown were like right to my corner. Um, which, you know, at the end of the day, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's just random luck. And I just happened to get very lucky, but yeah. Right place, right time. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, nothing but dumb luck, but I will take that any day of the week. Um, and yeah, it was, it was very cool. Is it easier or harder filming uh, kind of in the stands? Out, take away, you know, running back and forth from the media room, but when you're on the field, uh, you, I guess you can kind of move around and position yourself at different points of the game to, to be able to see different things and get uh, the right angle. But in you know, the stands, you're kind of stationary or confined to a small spot. Is it easier or difficult to, when you're just in the stands compared to when you are maybe have more field access? Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it is more difficult. Like, I don't want to say it's the same as being on the field because it's not, but it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be um you, you're kind of like it's one row essentially so you're squeezing by other media members and mobility is the main thing is just like i can run literally run on the field and i can't i just can't do that in a row of stands um but yeah like i like i said it wasn't nearly as bad as i thought it would be for most games there wasn't a ton of people obviously with covid they're trying to limit the number of people so you did have some mobility super bowl is obviously a different beast and then you do stuff with stanford as where you did stuff with Stanford freshman and sophomore year. Uh, did you film any U of A games when when they came up? Did you ever get a chance to do that? Yes, yeah, I got to do, I filmed football when you, when Tate was in the middle of his, like, actually, I'm trying to think about it when it was in his, like, really, really good stretch. But um, I got to film one football game. I got to film basketball as well. Um, I want to say that's it. I don't think I, I've done, a, I've, done 35 of Stanford's 36 sports. So I've done a lot wow. of the sports. And I think 
football and basketball come to mind, but I'm okay. sure something else for sure. What do you, what do you enjoy about, about filming? I, I kind of do it on starting to get into it on the side. I'm obviously not a, a professional like you, but it's kind of a side side hobby for me doing some videography. Uh, but what, what is it about, you know, your being able to, to capture some of these moments on, on video and photo as well, that, that appeals to you? Yeah, I think that's exactly what you said is just, or without even realizing is like capturing the moment. So I think it's pretty cool that like in TVs and movies, you can like stage everyone exactly how you want. You have unlimited takes. You can like get the cameras exactly where you want it. But with sports, like there's one moment and like you can't tell them what to do. You can't stage it. You can't put yourself in the perfect position every every single time. Um, so I think it's pretty cool that there's just one moment and like you either get it or you don't. And I think that kind of like uh, impermanence of the moment is pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, I'm a big sports fan too. And I think there's a lot of incredible stories to tell in sports, um, both on and off the field. So I think getting to tell those stories, um, and capture those moments is like very appealing to me, um, both as like a sports fan. And I wouldn't, wouldn't say I've always considered myself an artistic person, but there's definitely, I think artistic elements in each and every one of us. So also the artistic side of me, which I'm starting to discover more. Again, congrats on the Dolphins gig. Uh, it's Kevin Edwards. He'll be out in Miami as a digital producer and videographer next year. So thanks so much for joining us today and uh, best of luck. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it.